the observer pattern, a behavioral pattern, is a software design pattern in which an object called the subject, which implements the observable interface, manages a list of dependents called observers and notifies them automatically of any internal state changes and calls one of their methods. And that has a diagram. Here we have a subject which implements the iObservable interface and that has three methods, subscribe, unsubscribe, notify. And here we have observers and observers will register themselves with the subject and the subject will notify each observer. And each observer implements the iObserver interface so that they have a notify method in order to receive notifications. So the subject can have as many observers as resources allow. Okay, so I'm going to create a file called observer.py, enter. And I'm going to add a comment, observer design pattern. And I'm going to import the abstract base classes. First thing I'm going to do is create the iObservable class or interface. And that's it here. So it's iObservable and it's meta class ABC meta static method abstract method. It's got subscribe. This is the subscribe method and it needs an observer. This is the unsubscribe method and it needs an observer. And this is the notified method and it needs observer. Okay, so let's create the subject that will implement that interface. Okay, so subject, I observable, initialize self.observers equals a set. Now I've used a set because that will ensure unique values. So there's the subscribe, so self.observers.add, the observer. Unsubscribe, self.observers.remove and notify for observer in self observers observer dot notify self and args quarks whatever we whatever we want to send actually that means we can send anything okay so let's create the interface that the observers will use. Now the I observer interface meta class ABC meta static method abstract method notify receive notifications. Okay, args quags, args quags. And let's create a class for observers which implement the I observer interface. So initialization we pass in the subject or the observable and we subscribe. And we also provide the method so that we can receive the notifications. And here we're just going to print them out. Okay. Let's go and use all this information now. So let's create a subject which is an observable equals a a subject which is which is up here there we go a y observable and let's create an observer so observer observer equals an observer and we pass in the observable which is the subject so we're going to observe this subject and now, later on, the subject has new information and it needs to notify all its observers. So here we go, the subject dot notify. And args quarks, we can put anything we like. So first thing I'm going to put in is a string. I'm going to say, hello, observers. Okay, let's try that out python observer.py 
observer received hello observers okay so that's the observer here and here and this is the notify method observer received args quarks okay hello observers that's only one observer let's create another one so i'll just change that to observer a observer b equals observer for the subject subject dot notify hello observers okay let's see what happens there should be two messages now okay observer a received observer b received we can change what we receive we can send multiple values that's because we're using args quags up here so i'll send a a list also one two three let's see what happens now both those receivers received a string and a list and we can also send a dictionary Okay. okay there's the dictionaries both those observers received all that information that's because we're using args quarks anyway we can uh, yeah we can extend that as much as we like even add the name when we create the observer There we go. Let's uh, notify both those observers. There we go. The observer, observer A received hello observers. Observer, observer B received hello observers. That's the observer pattern.